There's some people I know who are some big Harry Potter fans, and they're about to get married. Their whole wedding is going to be Harry Potter themed. Everybody who's coming to the wedding has taken the official Pottermore quiz to find out what house they're in, and they're all encouraged to wear their colors, because everything's going to revolve around Harry Potter in some way or another. So I have laser cut keys for all of them with RFID tags attached to them. Since they all know their houses, they're going to be guided to where to sit uh, at the wedding. And all of the tables are based on Harry Potter classes or locations or whatever. So when everybody arrives to the wedding, they'll be issued their key off of like a valet board and guided over to the board here and told to place their key on the board. Ah, Alan and Amanda, ever the adventurous Gryffindors. You belong at the Hopology table. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Christopher and Taylor. Ambitious, cunning Slytherins. Apparate 2, the Quidditch pitch. Loyal to the end, a great Hufflepuff. You will do well at the Hufflepuff table. So the way this all works is this board here, uh, I've uh, engraved on my laser cutter, and obviously I've cut out all the keys in the laser cutter. Uh, underneath where the key goes, actually, since the key has the key tag and everything, or the RFID tag on the top, right up in this area, on the bottom, and I'll show you this in a second, there's an RFID reader connected to an ESP32. Uh, so when you place your key here, it will scan the RFID tag to the ESP32, which then passes it via USB cable over to this Raspberry Pi. And these wires are a mess right now, but they'll be hidden in the real display. What's driving it all is on the Pi is a Python script that's running uh, that listens to the serial port on USB and just receives input from the uh, RFID tag reader. Each tag is assigned to a guest and when it reads that tag, it just looks up uh, a WAV file to play and plays a corresponding WAV file. The way the lips uh, move and somewhat synchronize is based on uh, this little device. Uh, this is loosely based on a project called Skullduino. If you look up Skullduino, uh, it takes the volume level of the uh, wave being played at the moment and uh, light that lights up like an equalizer. So low sounds only turn on one light, slightly louder is two lights, all the way up to five. It translates that into motion by uh, a set number of degrees. So let's say it's eight degrees. <clears throat> it goes to a set position uh, plus level one times eight degrees. So let's say it's 50 degrees at the base plus eight is 58. So it would open the mouth to 58 degrees on the servo. If it's level two, it goes to two times eight plus 50. So 66 degrees. So the louder the sound, the wider the mouth opens. Underneath the hat, we have a servo motor here, which is just connected to these pieces that I've laser cut. Uh, these are just some laser cut pieces. There's a little piece here that hooks onto the motor. And when the motor turns, it raises the upper lip up and down. It's attached now, so it's a little heavy and doesn't move easily. But these are all just some plywood cut pieces. The bottom lip is secured to the board down there, and there's a hinge right here. Uh, so the two pieces just work like a puppet mouth, and we'll move up and down. The top lip is attached to the hat with a, a zip tie around a little loop that's in there, and the servo motor, when it turns, doesn't have to turn very far 
to uh, create the motion. Just goes up and down. Underneath the hat, we have a servo motor here, which is just connected to these pieces that I've laser cut. Uh, these are just some laser cut pieces. There's a little piece here that hooks onto the motor. And when the motor turns, it raises the upper lip up and down. It's attached now, so it's a little heavy and doesn't move easily. But these are all just some plywood cut pieces. The bottom lip is secured to the board down there. And there's a hinge right here. Uh, so the two pieces just work like a puppet mouth. And will move up and down. The top lip is attached to the hat with a, a zip tie around a little loop that's in there. And the servo motor, when it turns, doesn't have to turn very far to uh, create the motion. Just goes up and down.